The Grape Nuts and Grape Nuts Flakes program, starring Jack Benny, with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Dennis Day, Rochester, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Hey, I bet you don't all know the real meaning of the word delicious, or do you? Well, I didn't until I looked it up. And it comes from two Latin words meaning pleasant and charm. And if that doesn't spell malty rich grape nuts, then my name isn't Don Wilson. You're as pleased as punch when you sit down to the big tempting bowl of grape nuts now, aren't you? And you're certainly charmed with that one and only malty rich flavor that's sweet as a nut. A rich, distinctive blend of sun-ripened wheat and malted barley. A flavor that just plain hits the spot. And all that wonderful whole grain nourishment you get in grape nuts leaves you with such a satisfied feeling of well-being. Yep, for a real treat, just try a bowl of grape nuts for breakfast tomorrow. You'll find it's a charmer, all right. Gentlemen, as you know, Mary Livingston has been off the show for three weeks because of laryngitis. So now that she is fully recovered, we take you to her house where we find Mary and her maid, Butterfly. Gee, Miss Livingston, you sure have pretty hair. Well, thank you, Butterfly. <laughs> Ouch. Be careful with the comb you're pulling. Oh, excuse me. Say, Miss Livingston... Was your hair always this color? Of course, I never bleach my hair. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you told me. Now, Butterfly, co uh, comb the ends into a roll. Yes, ma'am. You know what, Miss Livingston? What? I think your hair is even prettier than Mr. Benny's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Butterfly, you're just saying that. Anyway, you've never been close enough to Mr. Benny's hair to appreciate its beauty. Oh, yes, I have. Yesterday, I was over to Mr. Benny's house. Oh. He wasn't home, so Uncle Rochester showed it to me. <laughs> Your Uncle Rochester has no right to open Mr. Benny's safe. <laughs> Uh, now, Butterfly, will you get my blue dress out of the closet, please? Never mind. You answer the door. I'll get the dress myself. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to buy a paper doll that I can call my own, a doll that other fellows cannot steal. <laughs> Hello, Butterfly. Come right in, Mr. Benny. May I take your hat? Yes, thanks. Here's my coat. Yes, sir. Shall I take your shawl, too? <laughs> That's a muffler. Here. Now, Butterfly, will you tell Miss... Oh, here she is. Hello, Jack. Hello, Mary. Gee, you're looking swell, and your voice sounds okay, too. Thanks. I feel fine now. That's good. Say, Mary, I brought you a box of candy. Over a hundred pieces in it. <laughs> <laughs> here you are. Oh, thanks, Jack. Just the kind I like, Sen Sen. <laughs> Glad you do. You know, it, it cost me extra to have it wrapped as a gift, you know. Oh, Jack, you're so nice. I know. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't have given it to you now. It'll make your Christmas present look like nothing. <laughs> well, let's not worry about that now. Come on, we'll go into the living room. All right. Is there a fire in the fireplace? No, but we can build one. Okay. Gee, I haven't had a fire in here since I've been sick. Well, there's nothing as homey as a fireplace with a cheery blaze. Here goes. First, a little paper. And throw on some kindling. And now, now for a log. <clears throat> <clears throat> there must be a smaller log around here somewhere. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Hey, look, 
Look, that log came from the tree that used to be in your backyard. Yes, I know. Gosh, Mary, look what it says on it. I love Jack Benny. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, I remember the night you carved it there. <laughs> yeah, it was so romantic. I'll never forget that night if I live to be 40. <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> Jack, if you... Don't answer that. <laughs> I know what you were... I'll take it. Hello? Plainfield, New Jersey calling? Yes, I'll hold on. Oh, Jack, it must be Mama. Oh, is she out on parole again? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you ought to be ashamed of you. Hello? Oh, hello, Mama. Yes, I'm feeling fine now. <clears throat> That's right, I was off the program for three weeks. What? Oh, don't worry, Jack's gonna pay me. <laughs> hmm. He will pay me. Oh, Mama, he is not. And where'd you ever hear a word like that? <laughs> hmm. Uh, that's what Papa calls you? <laughs> Mary, tell your mother. Quiet, that... Jack. No. Say, Mama, did you get the packages I sent? Good. But I don't want either you or Papa to open those presents till Christmas. What? Papa couldn't wait. He did. Well, Mama, call a doctor. That was shaving lotion. <laughs> Mary, what was that word your mother called me? It starts with an L. Oh, L. Uh, say, Mama, tell me, what's happened at the home lately? L. Could be liar, louse. <laughs> louse isn't so bad, is it? <laughs> what? What, Mama? Cousin Harry was made a sergeant? Oh, that's too bad. What's bad about it? Last week he was a lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, yes, Mama, that was Jack's voice. L. L. Yes, he's sitting right here beside me. L. Mama, stop it. What's the matter? You can drop the L and start working on D. <laughs> hmm. Say, Mama, what are you and Papa doing tonight? D. Dope. Dunce. Oh, you expect company, so you're making a fire in the living room? Dumbbell, that starts with a D. <laughs> but, Mama, you haven't got a fireplace in the living room. Oh, there's a hole in the rug and you wanted to cover it up with something. <laughs> Mary, hang up, will well, you? Well, Mama, I think I better... Uh, just a second, operator. Mama, give my love to... Oh, darn it, we were cut off. Oh, operator, operator, why did you... I don't care if my mother does drive you nuts. It's none of your business. <laughs> See, Mary, you see, I'm not the only one that's allergic to your mother. Oh, Jack, Mama's only kidding. She doesn't mean half the things she says. She does, too. I never saw a woman like that. She's always hounding me. She doesn't hound you. Well, she's got the face for it. And let me tell you another thing. Your mother takes delight in uh, aggravating me. Every time she calls me up, she pans me. And I never say anything about her. <laughs> Well, you ought to be. Every time we talk about my mother, we get into an argument. You're right, Mary. We shouldn't argue. Let's kiss and make up. Okay. Now, how was that? 
Let's argue. <laughs> oh, yeah? That was all right, and you know it. Now, straighten your lipstick. Oh, you and your wet lips. Every time you kiss me, you're scared. <laughs> now, what do you want me to do? Have them retreaded? <laughs> I skid. You can't say one nice thing. There's someone at the door. That's all right. Butterfly will get us. You can't say one thing without trying to be funny. Oh, Jack, you take everything so seriously. Where's your sense of humor? Sense of humor? Listen, Mary, you have no regard for my feelings. And in the first place... Hello, Mr. Benny. Hello, Dennis. In the first place, I only came here to visit... Hello, Miss Livingston. Hello, Dennis. I only came here to cheer you up because you've been ill. Well, this is a fine way to do it. Just because I pull a gag on you once in a while, you hit the ceiling. I hit the ceiling? What's going on here? Look, Mary, when you had laryngitis, <laughs> I was a constant visitor. I'm the best friend you ever had. Do you mind if I sit down? <laughs> No, no, go ahead No, sit down, Dennis You know, Mary, I even brought you a box of candy And what thanks do I get? What do you expect for a box of cents and a kiss for every piece? No, Mary, but the least you can do is show your appreciation Oh, you're having an argument <laughs> Dennis, why don't you please be quiet? Gee, everywhere I go, there's an argument Oh, where have you been, Dennis? Home <laughs> Now, Mary, as far as I'm concerned At my house, it's louder <laughs> Dennis. They ought to be breaking it up by now. The argument? No, the house. <laughs> Dennis, we're not having a fight. It was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. Now, Mary, let's not argue in front of the kid. Mm, you're right, Jack, and especially about such a silly thing. I'm a dope. Well, I'm a dope, too. You want to know something? What? It's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> You should know Thanks Well, I guess I'll run along now Wait a minute, Dennis What'd you come over here for? Oh, I forgot I came over to visit Miss Livingston You did? Well, sit down and stay a while Okay Well, guess I'll run along now <laughs> Dennis, you just got here What's that package under your arm? Oh, I made a record of a song And I wanted Miss Livingston to hear it Well, that's fine We'll play it later Oh, Butterfly, see who's at the door Yes, Miss Livingston Oh, it must be Rochester. There's my new car out in front. That yellow one? Why, it looks like a taxi cab. Well, it was, Mary, but it's the only thing I could get. Anyway, I converted it strictly to private use. Oh. If it weren't for the color, no one would know it used to be a taxi. Oh, hello, Rochester. Hello, boss. You better hurry. The meter's running. <laughs> <laughs> well, turn it off, silly. It's only us. <laughs> Why, Jack, <laughs> if you're using that taxi for your own private use, why do you have a meter on it? He never knows when he's going to give a friend a lift. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rochester, it pays to be nice. It pays him. <laughs> oh, that's not the reason at all. Anyway, Mary, it's not a bad car, is it? Mm, it looks all right. It rides smoothly, too. Yes, sir. Did you ride in a dentist? 30 cents worth. <laughs> Dennis. That's my raise. Five dollars worth of free rides a week. Listen, kid, I give you those rides because... <laughs> I, I, give, I give you those rides because I like you. It's, I'm not in business with that taxi. I don't haul people around. Oh, boss, come now. <laughs> Rochester, I told you, I only give my friends a lift home. <laughs> What's so funny, Rochester? All of his friends have trunks and live at the Union Station. <laughs> Rochester, stop making things up. And you better hurry or we'll be, we'll, we'll be late for the super team. <laughs> I mean, stop mixing me up. I know what you mean, boss, but we gotta go Christmas shopping. Oh, that's right. Let's get going. I want to do my shopping while the stores are still loaded with stuff. So let's... Oh, Butterfly. Butterfly, there's someone at the door. Butterfly, where are you? Oh, well, I'll answer it myself. Well, of all people... I locked myself out. <laughs> oh. Well, come in, Butterfly, and get Mr. Benny's things. He's leaving. I got him. Never mind. Come on, Rochester. Let's go. So long, Mary. Goodbye, Miss Livingston. Goodbye. 
I'm gonna buy a paper doll that I can call my own. A doll that other... Oh, Dennis, I forgot you were still here. Yeah, I just put my record on the phonograph. Would you like to hear it, Miss Livingston? Sure, I would. Go ahead and play it. Okay. Say, Miss Livingston, would you like to... Oh, well. What, Dennis? Never mind. Let's sit this one out. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I'd rather just listen to it. Rochester, Rochester, don't turn the corner so fast. Don't worry, boss, these taxi cabs can really take it. Rochester, I've told you a thousand times, this is my own private car now. It's not a taxi. Anyway, I'm going to have the color changed. It's getting to be ridiculous. Rochester, you're coming to a red light. Watch it. I see it, boss. Hey, bud, mind if I share this cab with you? I'm sorry, mister, but this ain't no... Driver, no one's asking you. Uh, certainly, uh, certainly, mister. Hop right in. Okay. Maple Avenue, driver. Uh, nice, uh, nice day, isn't it? Yeah. How far are you going, buddy? Oh, I'm going much further than Maple Avenue. So you pay me and I'll pay the driver. <laughs> That'll save time. <laughs> I wish he'd step on it. I'm in a hurry to get home. You are? Yeah. I don't want to miss the Fred Allen program. What? <laughs> there. Gosh, boss, how could you reach the brake from the back seat? <laughs> Never mind. This is where you get out, mister. Why? What happened? What did I say? Get out. Get out. You can't put me out of this cab. Hey, driver. I'm sorry, mister, but you'll have to get out. Oh, I do, hey? Well, my name is Brown, and I'm going to report you to the president of this company. Mr. Brown, you may not know it, but you were thrown out by the president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and star of stage screen, and taxi cab. <laughs> That's telling them, Rochester. Let's go. Gee, it 
sure is crowded in this store. I wish I'd have done my Christmas shopping early like I did last year. You gonna buy any gifts in here, Rochester? No, I already did my shopping. You did? Where? At Saks Central Avenue. <laughs> now, let's see. I want to get something for my girl, Gladys Zabisco. But I don't know what. Why don't you ask the floor walker? Yeah. Oh, mister. Uh, mister, are you the floor walker? If I'm asked that question again, I'm going to smash somebody right over the head. <laughs> What are you mad about? I just asked you if you were the floor walker. You see this carnation in my lapel? Yes. Or what do you think I am, a long stem? <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, uh, then you, you are the floor walker. Of course, I'm not rugged enough to be a customer. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Well, I'm interested in something for my girlfriend, uh... What, uh, what would you suggest? Well, what does your girl look like? Well, she's kind of thin and scrawny, and her hair is sort of stringy. But she really has a nice personality. She has a little turned-up nose, and she has two ears, and they, uh... Well, everybody's got two ears. On the same side? <laughs> Rochester. That's the way she combs her hair. It's a large bun. Well, I don't know what to suggest. Why don't you try our harness shop? <laughs> oh, don't be so smart. Come on, Rochester. I'll find things myself. Let's go over to this counter here. Pardon me, miss. Is this the perfume department? No, this is the cold cream counter. Can I smear something on you? <laughs> No, no, thanks. I'm not interested in cold cream. You know, we're short of help, so they split my week between cold cream and hot water bottles. Oh. <laughs> three days a week, I'm greasy, and the other three, I'm overheated. <laughs> well, I, I feel sorry for you. You know, for 20 years, I was behind the perfume counter. Nothing but perfume for 20 years. Perfume, perfume, perfume. Well, that's too bad, Miss, uh, Miss, uh... Just call me Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Miss, I have to buy something for, uh... Um... Hey, boss, look. Here comes Mr. Harris. Where? Oh, yeah. Hello, Phil. Hiya, Jackson. Hello, Chester. Hello, Mr. Harris. Doing a little shopping, Phil? No, I came out here to see Don Wilson. Don Wilson? Yeah, he's playing Santa Claus here this year. No kidding. <laughs> well, how, how'd he get the job? It wasn't easy. He had to take off 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, can you imagine Don being Santa Claus and talking to all the little kids, telling them about, hey, wait a minute. Have I got a wonderful idea. What is it, Jackson? Let's pull a gag on Wilson. Now, Phil, you go over to the boys' department and get dressed up like a little kid. Yeah? And I'll go down to the women's ready-to-wear and dress up like a woman. The I'll be your mother. Okay, and I'll be the mean widow kid. <laughs> Boy, will, will we fool Don. Rochester, wait for me out in the car. And Phil, I'll meet you in front of the toy department. Okay. Gee, I wish Jackson would hurry up. I feel like a dope standing here dressed up like a little kid. Oh, boy, look what Jackson's missing. Hiya, babe. Shut up, it's me. <laughs> now, come on, let's fool Don. Come on, we'll go over fool Wilson. Remember, I'm your mother. Now, gather round, children, gather round, and I want to talk to each one of you in turn. Now, uh, let me see. Who's next? Uh, my little son is Santa Claus. Oh. My little son is Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, madam. Now, where is your little boy? Now, where is he? Oh, clear water. <laughs> clear water. Doody, doody, Santa Claus. Doody, doody, Santa Here I is, mommy. <laughs> Isn't he a darling? Yes, he's a cute little rascal. Now, Clearwater, tell Santa Claus what you want for Christmas. Go ahead, don't be bad. No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to do it. Now, Clearwater, clap saddle. <laughs> tell Santa what you want. 
的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我的，我